So I first bought ZBrush back in 2004, about 16 years ago now, which is kind of incredible. And ever since then, I've got free updates. I bought it at SIGGRAPH for $200, I think it was at the time. There was $300, but they gave $100 off because of the conference. And with free updates ever since, it's absolutely the best piece of software and best decision I ever made. No other company I know of does that. It just It's kind of insane, but it help, really helps build brand loyalty. So having installed all of those versions over the years, obviously not on this machine, I would have changed several times, but you, you tend to put them into the same folder, the Pixel Logic folder. And the brushes that you collect over the years will go into your, whatever the installation folder is, and into your Z brushes. This folder here is this folder here. So anything that we update in here will get updated here. So my advice as for brush management over the years is to actually, rather than actually put that and then once you get a new update, have to take all of those brushes out and copy them into your 2020 ZBrush folders, this one here, and do that every single time. Just keep a separate folder called brushes. Put everything in there as you collect them, organize them, whatever way you like. Copy this path, go back. Once you install a new version of ZBrush, just go into that new version folder, go into the Z brushes, and create a new shortcut paste that location in, call it whatever you want to call it, let's say custom brushes, finish, and you'll see that that will now appear in this list once you go out and back in again, you'll see you now have custom brushes, which means that you can access your brushes from any version of ZBrush from now on, and you don't have to worry about putting them all in here and then having to recategorize them. So once you have created that, you can go in, you can see all the stone brushes I've collected over the years, etc. Uh, and it's just a really handy way of maintaining order in those brushes that you you've collected so hope this tip helps and if you have any tips yourself for how to organize your own brushes or your own uh, alphas textures any of that kind of stuff please do let me know in the comments i'd love to hear them cheers thanks bye